How much can this group handle? Okay, this is not the Seahawks. This is not Buccaneers 2022. This is our new team. What scope can they handle? And then just do a little bit more. You got a championship football team. It's, it's right in the rear view mirror. Coach Bowles, he wants to play a style of football that I know. So creating a tough style of football and knowing that's what he wanted, he wanted the, the marriage and the balance of the run and the pass. And then he wanted a guy that's gonna come in and just keep things simple and teach it well. You want someone that fits how you see the game and is walking in step the same page as you are. And he fit where I was going, how I see the game very well. Good pass set finish. Window, window. Trust your eyes. Huh? Good, good. Bam, great ball. Number one, it's all about the ball. So everything we do, all 11 guys on the offense is gonna be about protecting the football. So we're gonna be a developmentally minded staff that's looking to develop player a to player Z. Look at the line. This is an offensive line that's second to none in the league, starting with Tristan Wirfs. <laughs> How's it going, boys? Of course, Mike and Chris, and I love Russell Gage. He's just got that blue collar work ethic type of style to him. And he's a fantastic receiver. Rashad White, you know, the talent there. And Kyle. There you go. He grew on me through the process, and by the end, I was like, here is a gritty dude who just finds a way, knowing that we're not gonna ask him to throw the ball 50 times. We're gonna keep it tight, and we're gonna ask him to just be a point guard. When I say system, it's gonna be about our tight ends. It's gonna be about our backs. It's gonna be about Mike and Chris, you know, and Russell. You plug and play your talent, and then the plays become the plays, but it's the system that is flexible. Since he has a new staff, you know, you have to get in close to the combine and get ready for the combine. You have to sit back down with the coaches after that and start getting the playbook ready while the draft is, is looming right, right with that and free agency is looming right with that. So, you know, there's a lot of balls in the air right now, but we got a lot of work to do and, and everyone understands that. It's another year back in beautiful, can I stress beautiful, Indianapolis and everyone from the National Football League is filing into town. Jason, obviously Tom moving on and some of the cap issues you've had. Is this a situation where it might be in the best interest of the franchise long term to take a step back to move forward? I don't want to say taking a step back. We're still trying to restock and eventually build another championship team. But in the short term, we still want to win and compete for this division, and we think we can. What are the conversations between you and Jason Light right now in terms of making do with what you have on this roster, getting the most out of guys? How do you approach that type of challenge? Well, we want to be smart. Obviously, when you have good players, you spend a lot of money, and we're to the point where we have to shed some, and we understand that, and we have a plan going forward. We don't want to sacrifice one year for paying someone as opposed to sacrificing the future, but it's also a desirable place because we do have talent around them. I think we're approaching from a standpoint of like, we're excited. I mean, this is a chance to kind of redefine ourselves, to do some things different. We have a lot of really good players still. You know, obviously when you lose, in our opinion, the greatest quarterback of all time, things are gonna look and feel a lot different, but we've got a bunch of young guys that we've drafted the last couple of years that have won either proven themselves already or are chomping at the bit to get more of an opportunity to prove themselves. Rashad is a good young back that is just scratching the surface. Cade and, and Co. for you know, minimal playing time compared to some of the others, but a, a, making a big impact in his role. And then Jake Camarda, extremely happy with him on our roster. I think the arrow is definitely going up. And I think Luke and Logan are gonna take big steps this year. This is, you know, a, a different kind of time for you this year because this team is really in what we'd all call a massive transition. How different does it feel in terms of all the work that you guys have to do now? No, it's not easy, but you have to change your system at the same time. It's gotta be more team play. You know, and, and you want to win, but at the same time, you have to get young guys in there to help you win. Yeah. You can't just have an established vet at every position and say, okay, we're going to continue from there. So we got to be smart money-wise, shedding it and spending it, and we got to draft well. We got to get some key free agents in. We'll build from there. The two guys that I spend the most time with this time of year are Mike Beal and Rob McCartney. You know, they're both experts in kind of the college and the pro world. You know, Rob with pro again and Mike with 
college. It's, it's really an opinion-based business, right? That's what we're paid to do is watch players and give our opinions to Jason. So we all are in the same philosophy that you built to the draft. I mean, that's just the way this league, it's the best way to do it. It's tried and you know proven over, over time. And I just think that drafting guys, developing, re-signing your own players, like that's the way to build. And then you just sprinkle in with free agency to, to help build a championship roster. With Mike's background being more on the college side, we still like the keep him involved in all the pro stuff and likewise for me. But it all goes together. Like all the guys here at the Combine that Mike and, and all the college scouts are working with throughout the fall, the minute the draft's over, they become the, the responsibility of the pro scouts. We have a ton of background on these guys from the fall, from our scouts who do an unbelievable job, but we work on a lot of interviewing techniques with our scouts. We brought in guest speakers that, you know, human resource people that do this for a living and, and try to just learn, you know, as much as we can. We brought in some private investigators that, question people for a living too. And so I think all that helps. Yeah, we actually do a sheet every year called the change of scenery. So there could be players that we liked in the draft that go somewhere where maybe they're not the best fit. And that's really where it's valuable for us to lean on the college reports. And then we have pro reports we do every every season on every player. So we have a working knowledge of all the guys across the leagues. And those guys may need something to change. They may need a big life moment, like a trade or like they're being released to really see okay, I need to work a little harder. Or maybe I'm better fit for this or that. And, and that's something that we think we can be opportunistic about with our evaluations of this guy's a niche player, but we want to use him in that way that maybe he wasn't being used somewhere else. And that kind of makes those guys feel wanted and makes them feel special. And I think the more they feel that, the better and more likely they are to produce at a high level. It's a new system. Everybody's going to have a chance to compete, whether we label them one, two, and three. That may not be the way they start the season. There's there's plenty of evidence in this league that if you've got a plan and you've got good players and you've got good coaches, you stick to that plan and you roll with it and you compete, anything can happen. Touchdown Tampa Bay with nine seconds, Kate on. We're going to be explosive. You know, we're going to have explosive runs because of the talent we have. And we're going to rip the ball down the field when we get our chances because we've got the guys to do it. He's got it and he scores! We can create our own culture here, winning, and that comes with working together, working hard, and understanding what we have to do to win. There's no trepidation in this department. We've got a great two months out in front of us here, and we're going to make the Bucks a lot better.